Lab 5 is about the Grove backlit LCD display in interrupts. Now the Grove LCD has gone through a number of revisions in version 5 and later LCDs require no hardware modifications and should be connected directly to the I2C connectors on the Grove shield. Now version 5 has a lot more features and functions than the version 4 and the earlier versions and we're going to look at that in this video. Now if we copy this link and say file clone and paste that information in here and click on main. We'll see that this is skeleton code for an LCD, four digit display, and the Blueprint UART friend, all of which you're going to be using as part of your project at the end of the semester. Type RGB LCD and put a dot, nothing appears. And the reason for that is because we haven't compiled this. So all we have to do is select the target, we'll put in freedom, and we're just going to do a compile. And once we do the compile, all the various functions that are available for RGB LCD in this case, or segment, or even blue, will be able to show up on the screen and we can then select from a drop down menu as we'll see. Now that we've done the compilation, let's just copy that and paste it in here, and then we can put a dot. And at this point, it shows us all the various public member functions there are in the new version 5 of the Grove LCD. A lot of these we won't be using, but there's a blink function which allows us to have a blinking cursor. Later on, you'll see a no blink which shuts it off. Clear, we're going to be using quite a bit. Cursor, we can have cursor which shows just a underscore cursor, and later there's a no cursor to shut that off. There's a locate which allows us to position the cursor anywhere on the LCD screen. And there's a no blink and a no cursor which shut off the blinking and the cursor. We have the print command to print text. If we want to print data, we also have to use sprintf, as it said, in the lab. And we can scroll characters left and right, which we're not going to do. We have set color, which if you say set color zero, it's white, set color one is red, set color two is green, and set color three is blue. And we also have set RGB, where we can set red, green, and blue colors to make any color in the rainbow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put in CL, E A R bracket bracket so we can see exactly what we want to do. So we want to clear the LCD. Let's also do RGB LCD dot locate and we'll locate it on column zero and row zero. Then we're going to do RGB LCD dot set RGB and we're going to set 0x00, 0x80, 0x80, which is a teal color. And we're going to say RGB LCD dot print hello world and right after we do that we're going to just going to turn on our blinking cursor and then we're just going to set forever let's see what happens when we run that now similar to what we just did with the lcd we can go up here and use segment for our four digit display we can copy this in here and type dot and again it gives us a lot of things that we can do and we're going to start off with clear to clear our four digit display to put in segment again Dot. Let's see what our other options are here. And I'm going to say set colon. So let's select this one here. And I'm just going to put set colon one. And that's going to turn on my colon. And let's see segment again. Dot. And let's take a look at set brightness. And the set brightness color we're going to choose is five. Now the brightness ranges from zero, which is dullest, to seven, which is brightest. This, this is somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to do segment again. Dot. And we're going to write a number. And the number we're going to write is one, two, three, four, and then we're going to just stop. So at this point, when we run this, we're going to see that on our four digit display, we're going to have the colon on and it's going to say one, two, colon, three, four with a brightness of about five.